Hey, what's up everybody? Rich Gaming Guy here. Today in this video, I'm going to show you guys how you can set up your light gun controller within games or game full game collections and actually save your mappings. So the next time you jump into any game within that collection, you will no longer have to remap your light gun controller. Up until this point, what I've been doing is every time I jump into a light gun game, I quickly remap the controller. And usually I'm using a Wii remote, although I have used a couple of the light guns out there as well. And every single time I have to just go through that remapping process, which isn't a long process, but it's a little bit inconvenient to say the least. And some games are harder than others to actually map. So with these settings that I'm going to show you guys in this video, you won't have to do that anymore. You'll be able to just jump into any light gun game within each collection and those settings will pull automatically. So let's dive into it. I'll show you exactly what you need to do. All right, so here we are booted up into Botticera. Now I've already connected my Mayflash Dolphin Bar to my PC. I've also already powered on and paired my Wii Remote to my Dolphin Bar. Just make sure if you're jumping into any collection other than Nintendo Wii, which you likely are if you're watching this video, you're going to be on Mode 2 on your Mayflash Dolphin Bar. So Mode 4 is going to be what you use exclusively for Nintendo Wii, but you're not going to have to do any of what you're going to see in this video if you're intending on just jumping into Nintendo Wii Light Gun games. Everything on there should work as it was intended to on the original console. So you won't have to do any of what you're going to see in this video. So we're going to jump into MAME today to actually demo this process. And we're going to jump into Terminator 2 Judgment Day, which is one of my favorite light gun games. So we'll let this game load in. And now I have my light gun controller in my hand, which is a Wii uh, remote, paired again with my Mayflash Dolphin Bar. So once the game loads in on a regular controller, so if you have a typical gamepad controller that you use along with your Botticera build, go ahead and hit, it's going to actually differ from person to person based on your specific build, but usually it's going to be your hotkey button and X to open up RetroArch. Now for me, because I'm on a um, Xbox One style controller, it's actually the hotkey button, which I have programmed as select and the A button. So that opens up what you're going to see right here. This is RetroArch, and we are jumped into the quick menu. So we're going to actually hit our back button on our controller. That's going to advance us back one screen. And now we're going to go over to that left column. You can see I navigated with my D-pad over to that. We're going to now drop down to settings and now back over to the right column within settings. And we're going to drop down to input, which should be your fourth option down. We'll select input. And now we're going to drop down to port one controls. We're going to select port one controls. And here you can see all of your mappings so far. These are likely tied to the gamepad controller that you are currently using for this. You could also be in here on a keyboard. It really doesn't make a difference. But we're going to drop down to where you see these gun icons. And in here, they're labeled. So here you can see your mappings. So for gun trigger, you're going to select this option with your gamepad controller, and you're going to map it to the functions on your light gun controller. So now make sure that you're not moving around your light gun controller at this point, because if I actually flip up or down any direction with my Wii Remote right now, because I've actually already set this up before, you can see that I'll actually jump around on screen. So that's because it's sensing the movement from your Mayflash Dolphin Bar of your actual light gun. So I'm going to go back over here to trigger. I'm going to select it with my regular gamepad controller. And now it says gun trigger, press keyboard, mouse, or joy pad, and that's going to assign the function. So I let it time out there. I'm going to do it again, select it, and now I'm just going to pull the trigger on my light gun controller. It doesn't matter which light gun controller you're using. I'm using the Wii remote today, but you can do this on whatever light gun you choose to use. So now we're going to drop down to the next function, which is gun reload. So this is some games you're going to shoot off screen. Some games you can also program your reload to a specific button. Now for Terminator 2 Judgment Day, we don't need to do that. But for games like Area 51, you can assign rather than having to shoot off screen, which can be a little bit sensitive, you can assign it to a button. It makes the gameplay much smoother. I like to utilize that function whenever possible. So on my uh, Wii Remote, I'm going to assign that function to the A button, which is the big button on the top of the Wii Remote. So I'll select it with the gamepad controller, and I'll just hit A on my Wii Remote. And you can assign this to the functions on the sides of your light gun, depending on which model light gun you have. Really doesn't make any difference there. So now gun, augs, A, B, C. These are going to be additional functions for different games. So 
they line up differently from game to game. Some games don't utilize them at all. So you just have to kind of think ahead and remember what you assign them to. So games like, um, let's see. I think within this game, actually, Terminator 2 Judgment Day, we have the grenade or like special weapons function. With games like uh, Alien 3 The Gun, we have the grenade launcher or it's a grenade launcher or flamethrower. I forget what it is. It might be both, depending on what you pick up in game. That would be your additional functions. It could be A, B, or C. So you kind of have to guess on here and you may have to come back in here and make adjustments. So for A, I'm going to assign. Uh, on here, my plus button, and for B, I'm going to assign my home button. So I have those mapped. I'm going to leave C alone. Now, start and select. If you have additional functions, you can assign those down here. You can hit so your start button works. Um, on a Wii remote, we don't have a ton of functions, so you may be able to do one and two. Let me see. Actually, one and two don't work in here uh, on the Wii remote. So what I like to do, because I always have a gamepad controller on hand, I mean, that's what I'm using to navigate so far right here. I like to keep that on hand, and I just start my games with that gamepad controller, and then I take over with just the trigger and reload functions on my actual light gun. You can kind of split it. You can do whatever you want to do here. So you can customize this, whatever you want. You can put in your directions here, D-pad up, down, left, or right, if you want to. I never do that because I just don't utilize that on the actual light gun. And if you're using light guns other than the Wii Remote, you're not going to have those functions anyways. So this is actually all I want to map. I have the trigger, I have the reload, I have AUGS A and AUGS B. I'm going to leave Start and Select on my regular gamepad controller. So for arcade games, Select will add coins. Start will actually advance you into the game. So that's all I want to do here. I'm going to simply back out now. So on my Xbox One style controller, that's my B button. I'm going to back out. And now I'll back out once again, and that's going to bring us back out here. Now we're going to go over to that left column again, and we're going to go, going to go up to main menu. Now we'll advance over to the right-hand side with our D-pad to quick menu, and we'll select quick menu. From here, we are going to drop down all the way almost completely down to um, overrides. So we'll select overrides. So now down here, we have two options. We can go with save core overrides. That's going to take all of the settings that we just put into place for our light gun and apply that to every single game within this collection. So that means if you are using your light gun and you have that powered on with your Mayflash Dolphin Bar installed, it's going to pull those directions. It's going to track your movement. It's going to give you that trigger function and reload function for all the games that it applies to. So all of your light gun games within this collection will have this setting. So we can just go up there if that's what we want to set. We hit save core overrides. Now, if we want it to just say for this specific title, and that means that for Terminator 2 Judgment Day, it's going to save exactly as we just set it up. But if we went into another game like Area 51, for example, we could go in there, map that game differently, and then just save game overrides, and it would save for that specific game. So game by game, it'll differ slightly. You can do it the same way. Um, it just depends what you want to do. I actually probably recommend doing it game by game, just because there is a difference on your different um, games and mappings. So just depends how you want to approach this. I'm going to do save game overrides here. You'll get a confirmation in the bottom left corner, and you'll get that confirmation with either option that you do. That's all we need to do in here. So we'll back out now, and I'm going to hit the same buttons that I hit to actually get into RetroArch to begin with, which was my hotkey function and A on my Xbox One style controller. For some people, it's going to be hotkey and X. Just hit both of those together, and you can just jump around and see which combination actually opens up this menu for you. So doing that, it brings me back into our game. So now with my gamepad controller, since I didn't assign the select and start functions to my light gun, I can add coins here with my select button, and I can hit start on my gamepad controller to advance into the game. So now I'll be able to play along with this title with my light gun controller. So now if we were to exit this, we'll go ahead and hit hot key to exit the game. And now we jump back into it. If we didn't save those core settings, we would have to remap the game all over again because we've exited it and then we jump back in, it restarts everything from scratch. The way that we just set this up, it's gonna pull 
all of those controls and mappings and have everything ready to go as soon as we jump into this game. So I'm going to jump into it now and play along for just a couple of seconds just to show you guys how everything works nice and smooth now. Judgment Day. Excellent. All right, guys, you can see from this video, pretty straightforward process here, pretty easy to follow. And again, remember, you can do this for your entire collection. So we jumped into MAME today. We can do that, as I showed you, to set it up for every single light gun game within that collection. You'll be able to jump into new titles that you haven't previously gone into, and those settings will pull over. But sometimes the mappings for each title do differ a little bit so you may want to make those adjustments title by title as well you just kind of have to feel it out see what works best for you but let me know in the comment section if you have any questions anything like that always happy to help as best i can here and if you enjoyed this information today you enjoyed this video smash the like button on the video give me a thumbs up it's a huge help here on youtube and of course hit the subscribe button to stay in the loop for all future videos here on the retro gaming guy youtube channel thanks for the support thanks for watching i'll see you in the next video